Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to install key clock with Nginx using Docker Compose. So all the source codes are available here and I have put it on the description below. Please do all the things that makes me happy, such as click this button star or fork, st fork button. And you could also subscribe to my channel. Okay, so first of all, uh, before we dive into the the tutorial, um, I want to make sure that we all in the same page in terms of the concept for this tutorial. So first, um, we have client, nginx, and key clock. Okay, so actually, I think it will be easier like this. Okay, so first, um. The nginx, uh, I mean the clients, uh, is of course want to access key clock rights, but uh, instead of accessing key clock directly, the client actually goes to the engine the nginx instance first, and after the nginx got the request, the nginx forwards it to the key clock. And then the key clock, of course, will give its response and it gives the response to the NGINX instance and the, NG the NGINX will forward the response to the client. So this is the concept of this tutorial. Now, um, there are some prerequisites. So we must install and understood about Docker Docker Compose and CURL. So without further ado, let's learn the, the, let's go to the tutorial. Okay, so there are three files here, which are Docker Compose, YML, default.conf and .env. Now in order to run the program, the only thing that we have to do is to execute this command, docker compose up dash d. And then the instances are started. Okay, so the key clock and the engine X are started. Okay, so uh, we can't just use the, um, the key clock yet. We have to wait until the key clock ready. So, uh, the key clock is, um, you know, is warming up, is booting right now. And I'm going to pause it until it is ready. All right, so the key clock is ready and the signs that it is ready is these uh, lines here. Okay, so in order to access the key clock page, we could um write this uh, url in our browser uh, localhost 8040 okay so here we are in the key clock page and we go to the administration console and of course we have to sign in first now for the username and password we could see it in this environment variable okay so the username is admin and the password is also admin. So we type it into the field and then click enter, press enter, sign in. And here we are. We are in the admin con console. Okay, so let's create a realm to test whether it is working or not. Now let's, uh, for me, I'll type testing and then click this create button okay so we have successfully create a realm all right now we have to test the endpoint too right so in order to test the endpoint we go to this uh, page here realm settings and then see this token endpoint here which is this um yeah this url this endpoints now 
um, I actually have created the CRL command. Just copy this, um, yeah, this CRL command here and go to the CMD. Then paste it and press enter. And we have successfully uh, retrieved the access token here, which means the endpoint is working right now. Okay, so everything is working. And let's go to the explanation parts, right? So first, I want to explain about the default con file. Now this file is for the engine X. And actually the only thing that we have to pay attention for is these lines here. So it means that for um, every slash path for the engine X, I mean, if we access the engine X with slash path, it will redirect it will forward the request to the key clock. And as we know already, the key clock default ports is 8080. And why this one is key clock is because in the Docker Compose, um, it is key clock here. Now, all right, so that's for default.conf file. Now for the Docker Compose YML file, so there are two instances here, of course, which are engine X and key clock. Now for the basic commands such as image, container name, ports, I assume you already under you already understand them. And I guess the only thing that we have to pay attention for is the environment variable of the key clock container. And actually uh it has been explained in wait in this page here so just take a look at it and actually this is basically them just click this uh, yeah this this i don't know this button and this nv means that the nv for the um for the system the environment variable for the system and then this is the explanation. Just access this page. Now, um, I guess um, I also use the Docker Compose environment variable, which are public IP address and Nginx access ports. And for this one, it is it could be um, you know we could take a look at it at this dot nv file here. So. The engine X access port is 8040. And of course here, and then it will be passed to this, okay, to this, yeah, to this variable here. And also for the public IP address, I put it localhost. Then it will be passed here. Now, um, this one, is the only thing that I want to emphasize when we use um, reverse proxies such as Nginx. So when we change this, you know, when we give a value to this uh, variable here, it will change the hyperlinks in the key clock, okay? So, um, and of course, uh, this one is um, not for uh, for production, for example. You could um, change it to HTTPS, uh, my key clock dot com, for example. Just um, just take a look at the documentation for more information. All right. Now, uh, what I mean by it will change all the hyperlinks in the key clock page. Well, see here. Okay, so I want to go back to it. Uh, so see here, it is eighty forty, and it is local host all right so if i go back to the um to the uh, default page here now if i hover over these links now take a look at this okay now it will be local host 8040 slash admin slash okay now if we change this 
in uh, to this my key clock dot com, then when we hover over this, I mean if we click this button, it will redirect us to my key clock dot com slash admin slash, and that's why it is quite important. Now for the I the same principle also applies I guess to the KC hostname admin URL, and yeah, you can change it to HTTPS my uh, for example, your domain name. All right, so I guess um that's uh for the tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.